Good morning everybody at Brownells Ormiston Academy, Miss Kane here and I'm going to be taking you through my daily HIIT workout. So for those of you that have never done a HIIT workout before, this is a high intensity interval training session. So this means you will do short bursts of exercise with short rest periods for around 20 minutes. We can range these from 20 to 30 minutes, but we don't want to be doing a hit session for any longer than that, as they are very high intensity and we will tie out quite quickly. So before we start, I'm going to take you through a few slides just for some safety precautions. So we'll be setting new remote learning lessons through our YouTube channel weekly. So hopefully you all were able to do Mr. Morgan's last week and there will be another PE teacher doing one next week. So these challenges are physical and will require you to be sensible when completing them. Please ensure you have the correct clothing on and the area you are using is empty to prevent any damages to any of your equipment at home or also to prevent any injuries. If you aren't feeling 100% please do not join in and make yourself feel even worse. If you are joining in Please give this lesson 100% just like you would in one of my PE lessons. Once you've completed your workout, please email me a video or photos to pe at brownhills.warsall.sch.uk and I will be sending praise texts to the students who put in maximum effort. Good luck! Okay, so I'm going to leave this screen on for a moment just while you get some things ready. So, first of all, you'll need to make sure you've got a water bottle that can keep you hydrated throughout this workout. As I said in the previous slides, it is a very high intensity workout and you will be very tired throughout this workout, so please make sure you're staying fully hydrated. Make sure you have plenty of space around you so that when you are exercising, you can move as freely as possible and also ensure you've got comfortable clothing on so you're able to move and complete all of the movement to your full potential. So I'll pause here for a moment just while you get those stuff together and then I'll explain to you what we're going to do. Okay so what will happen through this video? So, you will complete each exercise for 20 seconds and you'll have a 10 second rest in between each activity. So you might want to get your phone or your stopwatch, whatever you can use to time yourself for 20 seconds and allow you 10 seconds rest. This rest is really important because it will help you recover from each activity and will give you a little bit of time to catch your breath and prepare yourself for the next exercise. So we're doing three sets of activities and in each set there'll be six different exercises for you to complete. What I want you to do, I want you to complete each set twice. So we do set one and we do all six activities, then we'll repeat set, set one, do all six activities, set two, six activities and so on. So each set you'll be doing twice. So what I'm going to do on the next few slides is I'm going to give you some examples of each exercise which then you'll complete for 20 seconds with a 10 second rest in between each activity and then you will move on. Okay, first thing we're going to do is a warm up. So we're going to start with jogging on the spot for 20 seconds. I want you to keep a constant pace, keep moving those arms and lifting those knees. Then we'll move on to some high knees. So I want you to get those knees really high for me, staying on your tiptoes, moving as fast as you can. Then we'll move on to bum kicks, so I want you to kick your bum as fast as you can for a good 20 seconds again, same as the other two activities. Then we'll finish on some star jumps, I really want you to power through these, again for 20 seconds, keeping going, okay, we need to get our heart rate up nice and high and we need to get our muscles ready for exercise. Once you've done those four activities, I want you to repeat them again, so we do them twice. After that, we should feel nice and warm, our heart should be beating nice and quick, and our blood should be flowing around our body, so we are prepared for our activities. Once you've repeated those twice, what I want you to do then is I want you to do some stretching. Now I've put four different examples of stretching on the screen, 
but you can choose to do whatever clubs or stretches you do. So obviously we always do these at school within our lessons and we always do a variety of stretches, sometimes as a group, sometimes independently. So feel free to do your own stretches and take your time on these, holding them for around 8 seconds per stretch. We want to be making sure we're stretching the whole body because the HIIT workout is going to work our whole body. So I'm going to pause here for a few seconds just to give you time to finish your warm up and to make sure you are stretched correctly. Okay, now hopefully you are all nice and warm and are ready to start a HIIT session. I advise you have a drink beforehand to make sure that you are hydrated, ready for exercise. On the next few shot slides, I'm going to show you six different activities. Don't forget you need to do each activity for 20 seconds and give yourself a rest in between each one for 10 seconds. So let's move on to set number one. So we're going to start with knee twists. I really want you to twist your core and get your leg kicking nice and high. This will really work the stomach muscles, okay, and will also keep your heart rate nice and high by the constant twisting. Next activity is star jacks. So I want you to touch the floor and really shoot up in the air nice and quickly for me. Keep going as much as you can. Next activity is a leg cross. So we're going to cross up and down and we're going to stretch up nice and high. Then we'll move on to squat knee lifts. So really squat, twist those knees up and keep going for 20 seconds. Then we'll move on to our walking burpees. So we're going to bring our knees in and out. Then we finish this set on knee ups. Okay, so we bring our knee up and we kick our leg out. So I'm going to play those videos once more for you just to see them. So we're starting back with our knee twists. So watch my technique. Okay, after our knee kicks, we continue with our star jack. So stretch up and we touch the floor repeatedly. Our next activity is a leg cross, so we bend right down behind our leg and we stretch up nice and tall. Our fourth activity is a squat knee lift, so we're going to squat right down and we're going to bring our opposite knee to our opposite arm, again for 20 seconds. Then we move on to a walking burpee, so we bring our knees in, we walk them out and we stand up, so there is no jumping in this burpee section. And our final exercise of this set is knee up, so we bring our knee up and we kick forward. Okay, so I will pause here now while you complete this activity. If you do want to pause on each activity to do your 20 seconds, that is absolutely fine. Don't forget to do this activity twice and make sure you give yourself enough rest in between. Okay, we're moving on now to set two. So hopefully you've been able to complete that set twice all the way through each activity being 20 seconds and 10 seconds rest in between each one. Okay, so set two, we're going to start with one and a half squats. Quite self-explanatory, we squat down with a little um, thrust in between to give us one and a half squats. 
We then move on to plank arm raises. So we lift one arm and we swap each time. In and out, very similar to star jumps, but we keep our arms forward, moving nice and quickly. Then we move on to squat walks. So we do two forward and two backwards. We go back to our fast knees, so on your knees nice and high, moving as quickly as you can for 20 seconds. And then we finish this set with our squat jumps, so I want you nice and low and powering up nice and high. So I'll go back through each one now and show you the video again, as they are only short videos. So one and a half squats. As you go down for your squat, first squat, you'll come up halfway go back down and then come back up after a squat so that will make one and a half squats so I'll put the video on again it's a small pulse in between each squat to make an extra half so again that needs to be done for 20 seconds after your 10 second rest we'll move on to plank arm raises so you'll lift one arm and then the other keeping a nice flat back and nice strong arms Again, try and use your hips to twist slightly, just to give you a little less pressure on your arms if you are struggling. The third exercise, like I said before, is very similar to star jumps, but we bring our arms forward. So this is working on our biceps and our triceps, and the quicker we move our arms, the more power and the more effort we will be putting into this activity. Then we move on to our squat walks. So I did two steps forward and two steps back, but if you want to walk more than that, then that is fine. Just keep your hips low and your chest up nice and straight and you should feel it in your legs. Then we move on to fast knees. So on your knees nice and high, moving nice and quickly, trying to maintain the same speed for the duration of 20 seconds. Then we finish with squat jumps. You will really feel these in your calf muscles if you're doing them correctly. So what we want you to do is we want you to squat right down and really power through those calf muscles, jumping up as high as you can, keeping the momentum throughout. So again, similar to set one, we want you to repeat this twice and we want you to do each activity for 20 seconds with 10 seconds rest in between. So I'll pause here just so you can have a look through the activities. You may want to write them down so you've got the sets. And then just keep going backwards and forwards to re-watch the videos if needed. Okay, so now we're on to our third and our final set. Some activities in this set you will have done, but repetition on certain activities in hit sessions are really good for the body. Okay, so set three, we're going to start again with our squat walks. So we've done this in our previous set. We do two steps forward and two steps back. We're then going to move on to spider climbers. So we want your knees as close to your elbows as possible. We then move on to bear walks where we move, walk our hands out and we walk them back into a standing position. We then do squat leg lifts, so we squat and we kick our legs out to the side. Then we move on to our curtsies where we try and get our knee as low to the floor as possible. We then finish this set with our burpees. Okay, so each activity I'll go through once more. So our squat walks we have already done. Again, you can take more steps forward and back if you want to, but keep those legs bent and your chest nice and high. Our spider climbers, we want a nice flat back and we want our knees coming up to our elbows as much as possible. Then with our bear crawls, we want to be walking out into a plank position keeping that back nice and flat, getting as low to the ground as we can. 
then we move on to our squat leg lifts so we squat down and we push our leg out as powerful as possible really feeling that working in the tops of our legs then our curtsy is very similar to an activity that we've done but we want our back knee to be going as low to the ground as possible keeping our chest nice and high then we finish with our full burpee so we've done walk, walking burpees already okay but this activity means you go to the ground and we jump up as hard and as powerful as possible okay well done if you were able to complete the whole three sets and were able to do it twice it is a very hard activity to do but if you do this every day for 20 minutes you will feel so much better about yourself you'll be able to concentrate more on your schoolwork and you will think about your physical fitness think about when you come back to school and we're back into PE lessons you will be physically fit and ready for all of our exercises so we do need to make sure we do a cool down so again I've put some stretches on the screen but you may want to do a little bit of walking to reduce your heart rate first do some mobility stretches so some arm swings some lunges just to get your muscles nice and relaxed okay you want to cool down for about 10 minutes now I know a lot of you don't like to do a cool down but if you don't cool down correctly tomorrow morning or the day after whenever you complete the activity your muscles will be aching due to the lactic acid that's in your body so make sure that you are exercising and cooling down correctly but well done if you have completed my workout hope you enjoyed it as much as I do okay so I do this every day for 20 to 30 minutes and I do change the activities so if you do want to do any of those then please just YouTube some hit sessions and I will give you lots of different activities there are so many on Instagram as well that you can follow live daily so have a look through those don't forget to email me your video to pe at brownhills.warsaw.sch.uk and I look forward to seeing your videos stay safe and hopefully I'll see you all very soon take care bye